Look what you're doing, Jack. I'm drawing some boats. So, I don't want to help. What does it say? It says, my dream boat. Okay, so name of the boat, Sea Dragon. Size, 44 foot. Um, steel. Monohull. Awesome. So, tell me about your layout. So, this would be the lounge here. Yeah. What are all those holes in the table? Cup holders. Ah, uh -huh, cool. To get rid of them. <laughs> no, it's fine. I'm just asking you. Um, so there's there's curved seats. Nice. And there's like covers behind the seats. Yeah. Here, so you can get into them, open the cupboards and put storage stuff in. Maybe a game of maybe some chess and scrabble. <laughs> yeah. Um then here there's the four peak. It's two bedroom. Well there's two beds. Who would they be for? Well, children. <laughs> this is the R cabin. Yeah. And just a little desk with a mirror. Nice. So you can do your makeup. Um, a woman. <laughs> a woman can do her makeup. Is there going to be a woman on your boat? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm Andy. I'm Melissa. And I'm Jack. And together we're working on restoring our sailing yacht. Some of you might think we're crazy taking on the challenge of restoring this boat and creating a life less ordinary. And we're sure there will be blood, sweat and tears, but it'll all be worth it when we embark on our epic adventure around the world. Right, this morning's job. Um, what I'm going to do, I've got to wait for... I'll leave it a certain amount of time for the aqua steel to seal or whatever it's called to cure before I can paint over the top of it. So I'm just going to start sanding the flaky paint on the deck. Um, so we can prep that for painting. We're going to start um, at the most forward point and just work our way back. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. moisture traps just to try and eliminate the condensation and one of our patrons has suggested using cat litter with a little bit of washing powder so it smells nice um, just to help trap the moisture so obviously it's really cold here and when we're here and cooking and everything in the warmth it creates lots of condensation so we'll let you know how we get on we appreciate a lot of you have got boats and probably had the same issues. If anyone's got any other suggestions other than re-insulating which we will be doing, let us know. Back again. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What's that moving? I don't know. Gotta make sure we plug that. That one's sheared off. Right. That's not a problem. I can weld another piece of bar onto there. Yeah, we just need to plug the hole. We can put um, a bung in there now. I couldn't get it in before because of the yeah. The windlass. Put a wooden bung in. Windless, windlass. Windless. So that can I can get take that home, strip it down, and rebuild it. Mhm. Mm Possibly replace it with an electric one. That'd be nice. Possibly not. So the bow sprit is um, <clears throat> a piece of five inch pipe which comes all the way back to here and is welded in. This is quite a substantial piece of construction as you can see and it comes through the bow of the boat all the way out to here. Let me move that and this actual platform is only it's welded to the deck and it's welded to two fillets but it's not actually it's, it's a couple of little spot welds at the front but the top of that piece of pipe is completely or looks to be very badly corroded it might not be when we get to it but i suspect it is so one thing we're going to have to tackle more than likely is cut this plate off the top cut the plate off the top and then I'm gonna to have to cut into the deck cut this out cut this out uh, and I'm need, gonna to need to take the ceiling down in the inside to see how far back into here because it might be that the piece of pipe comes all the way back to here don't know um, until we start cutting into it how far back it goes uh, so there is no point painting this no none whatsoever there's no point painting the floor deck yet We've got quite significant fabrication to do with the new bowsprit before we start. But what we were achieving with this anyway was stopping the rust getting worse. So that's mission accomplished in that sense. Uh, we've discovered that this is trash, probably, which I thought it was anyway. But um, at least the patches on the deck aren't going to rot through and cause problems inside the boat. Uh, so that's a that's a big job I'll try and get these uh, rollers off anyway because I'd like to get this off in one piece not so that we can reuse it obviously but so that we can um, template we can copy it mm, right yeah. Right, so here's an issue, guys. Um, the anchor roller underneath, sorry, the, the bow sprit underneath the anchor rollers. Look at that, that is rotted through. Now we can, we can cut that piece of tube out, but it goes all the way back. There's one of the rollers. I'm gonna take the other one off in a sec. It goes all the way back here and into here, I think, but I'm not sure how far back. So, this is all solid obviously and I think it's solid from there back and I'm reluctant to completely destroy the whole front corner of the boat, the bow. So we're going to look at the potential of cutting it off short here where it's good and then putting a wooden bow sprit sleeve down the inside or a carbon fibre one or a stainless steel one, possibly not stainless steel because again we've got the galvanic reaction between the stainless and the mild but we'll see about that um, but putting a basically a bow sprit sleeved inside there instead of refabricating the whole tube all the way back into the um, into the boat so we could just cut round where the weld is here and clean it up yeah how far the rust goes back um, that will we'll come to that when we see it so I'm going to start taking off the other anchor roller anyway
I think what's actually happened is oh where's that gone where these are stainless and they've been touching the uh, mild steel pipe uh, and the galvanic reaction has happened there and it's it's uh, rotted through that piece of pipe bowsprit um, but it's only rotted at that point so I think we can cut it off and either put a wooden bowsprit in or a carbon fiber one or a um, a stainless one or something or even just another mild steel one and paint it uh, it's not going to be a big issue I don't think uh, my initial reaction was panic stations but I don't think it's going to be that bad no let's say providing the um, rot hasn't gone right to the into the yeah providing the rot hasn't gone like inside the, the, the tube but I don't think it has and if it has it has if it yeah. has we'll cut it out and put a complete new assembly on Oh, you've done the inside of the keel. Yeah, we're going to have to sand over the top because that was before dinners. All oh, right, yeah, that's fine though. And I did have a hat on to stop my hair going in the paint. Yeah, put it back on. I can't get it on now because I've got... Oh, watch your hair. Watch your I, hair. I know. I can't do anything. Yeah, just keep... You're not... Your hair actually isn't in the paint, but you need to move backwards. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah. Try and get over it, over there. I'm working my way. Yeah, I think I can see. It's probably the most awkward spot to paint in this. And I've had to swap hands because... Do the carpal tunnel syndrome. Okay. There's going to be enough paint there to do all the going to get up to the silver? Oh. No. It's um, very wasteful. What, the paint? Yeah. That's why rollering it is better, isn't it? Yeah, but it says that you can't... You're not supposed to roll on the first coat. the first coat roller because it won't be thick enough. Moving to the fat sheet. Ah. You've missed this bit here. Don't, don't worry. Yeah, don't worry. You are. Much better. Oh, well, oh, so oh, yeah, but I haven't got the sand. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. So there's nothing to protect there. That's true. Have we done this? No. No. Because it needs. more work. <laughs> well, we're not going to have time to mix more paint today.
rain stopped outside work for today. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. Sorry, I didn't know you were pointing the camera at me. <laughs> I thought um, you'd come over to No, no, no. Um, we can't do anything and this is the thing. So we're now, you're now likely to see us doing some jobs inside and... and Lots of people have said about us flitting about. Yeah, exactly. Lots of, lots of people have commented, why do you not just stick to one bit and get one bit done? Absolutely, and you're dead right, and that's exactly what we'd like to do. But the fact is, it's now, we've had a few hours working outside, it's now pouring with rain. So we've now got to do something inside or maybe have a cup of tea and do nothing. But mm -hmm. we've got to find other jobs, we've got to maximise our time here. And something else that you may not realise, some of you, is I work full time, 12 hour shifts as a paramedic for the ambulance service. Melissa works full time. Um, you know, six days a week as a, a manager of a small uh, of, a, of a business. Five days a week, all right. <laughs> but as a, a sales manager of a business here, sort of supporting local industry and local business. So uh, we don't have, we haven't quit our jobs. We're not doing this full time. We're doing this around our day jobs. So whenever we do get the chance to get here and do work and make videos, uh, we have to maximise the time here yeah. uh, and in amongst that of course we're making videos uh, for you guys and hoping you enjoy them um, so uh, yeah when we're here if you suddenly see us flitting from one job to another it's simply the fact that the weather has changed and it's not suitable for us to carry on doing what we're doing so we're doing something else in a different or it's got dark or it's got <laughs> dark exactly there's certain, certain things that you just can't do when it's too dark to carry on doing that job roll on the spring yeah <laughs> yeah that's it so um as always thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed the episode please don't forget to click the thumbs up button and if you want to make sure you don't miss any more episodes click the subscribe button and the notification bell we'd like to thank all of our patrons maggie and mac john elmore kevin brooks anonymous trucker jeff altenberg chris seville george silverson henrik knudsen famita bento eric nermo Robo Ads G, Terry Hamilton, Dennis Small, Matthew Strau, John Bruce, William Chaplin, Michelle Maddox, Clifford Stein. Coffee donations from Steve Shepherd and Stephen Howler, and our friends and supporters Robert Ralph, Chris and Abby, Trev Hedges, Amy and James, Kelvin Jones, Angie Martin. Pam Wall, Dudley Dix, Mike Osler, Martin Garradine, Timothy Warden, Chris Richards, Emily Turner and Stephen Turner.